Starting 2013, the Federal Skilled Worker Program has many new requirements. One of these is the obligation for candidates to have their educational credentials recognized. This is what this video is about. It is very important because without your credentials recognized, you may not apply under the new Federal Skilled Worker Program. This is a new requirement starting May 4th, 2013. We'll see during this video that there are four designated centers for that purpose. To see other changes related to immigration, we invite you to visit our blog at theblog.artem.ca. So the four centers are the Comparative Education Service of the University of Toronto, the International Credential Assessment Service of Canada, World Education Services, and the Medical Council of Canada for physicians. Now, the Medical Council of Canada is for doctors only. Uh, the uh, three other centers are for all other professions. They all have their own fees and processing times, but they provide you with the same result, a report that can be sent along with your application for the Federal Skilled Worker Program. Now, what are the differences in terms of processing times? The Comparative Education Service takes 11 weeks through its regular service. You can have a rush service for five days only. The International Credential Service of Canada takes three months. There is no possibility of a rush service. The World Education Services takes seven days with its regular service and you can pay for a rush service of three days or even of one day only. And the Medical Council of Canada takes from 75 to 105 days. In terms of fees, the Comparative Education Service costs $226 for its regular service and $508 with 50 cents for its trust service. The International Credential Service of Canada costs $200. $200. The West World Education Services cost $180 for regular service. You must add $100 for rush service three days and $200 for rush service one day. With the Medical Council of Canada, the total fees are $485. Now, what documents are needed? At stage one, you need to provide color copies of diplomas and transcripts, along with official translations of documents if they are not in English or French. Those translations can be made by an official translator of your country. It does not need to be an official translator of Canada, but it has to be an official translator. And you also must include your payment and the completed forms. The stage two of the, of the process is to request your educational institution to send directly to the center your official academic records. That means your diploma and your transcripts. Do not send originals. Frequently asked questions. Will the center contact the university? It may do so at, at its own discretion. Will studies in course qualify? No. Your studies have to be completed with your diploma in hand in order to be able to recognize the credentials. What are the tr translation requirements? As we said, they have to be done by an official translator. It can be an official translator of your country. What is the validity of the report? It is valid for five years. Will the report be sent directly to CIC? No, it will be sent to you, the candidate, and you will need to send it along with your complete application for the Federal Skilled Worker Program to CIC. How do I choose a center? All in all, there is no difference in the result. However, you may consider issues such as time and money when you choose your center. What else can the report be used for? Well, it may be used for uh, admission at some university or college programs, and for some employment opportunities, it may be used also. However, the main purpose of this report is for the Federal Skilled Worker Program only. Do I need an extra copy? Well, mm, you may want one for admission at university or for employment. Shall it be accept accepted? Two institutions, the West and the CES, do provide with a copy. Um, and if you go with the International Credential Service of Canada, you may want to ask for an extra copy. What can I make to expedite the process? Here, first, you must read carefully the instructions of the designated center and follow it thoroughly. You must also make sure that your payment with your credit card will be valid. Make sure that your credit card um, number is, is well written, that it has enough funds, and that it will be valid for a couple of weeks if it's going to take a couple of weeks 
for the payment to pass. Also, it's a very good idea to make a follow-up with your educational institution just to make sure that they do send in time your transcripts and your diploma directly to the designated center. And to finish, we leave you with a sample of a credential evaluation from one of the designated centers. But for more information, we very strongly advise that you contact the designated centers directly.